Okay. I got troubles with my H&S hay rake. Um, as you know, I bought it new last fall, uh, just before winter, and I used it. Well, maybe some of you know it, but uh, yeah, I bought it new last fall. Uh, this is actually the second H&S hay rake that I bought last year. The first one was a demonstration model, and it was bent like a horseshoe. I mean, it was just... I had a bent New Holland, I, you know, I, we hit a guy wire with it and, you know, so we got rid of that one and got the new H&S, it was a demo, like I just said, and then, so that one was bent, so we got this one. Now, I'm not happy. I am not happy at all. I bought this rake, it's supposed to be straight and true, it's brand new, never had an acre of anything through it, and... John Deere brought it out here, Lehigh Ag, from Allentown. It is a, it's actually the 1660 H&S high capacity rake. High capacity, heavy duty high capacity. Anyway, there's a, uh, uh, an option on this rake where you can rake with one side, which I find to be really stupid, because if you're buying a high capacity rake, what in the hell do you want to rake with half of a rake for? Uh, but anyway, you're supposed to pull this pin here out and put it in these holes when you're going to do this, you know, rake with one side. And there's a pin here, you pull that out and you put it up here in that hole and that'll allow that beam to slide in and out when you open and close the right hand side. Now, when you do this, of course, you're supposed to I, you're supposed to leave this strap on so that it holds it in place. No big deal, right? Well, when I bought this thing, John Deere, I never had a hay rake that was capable of doing this, so I don't know. So John Deere comes out, and you know they they just dropped it off, said, "Here, have fun." And I'm like, "Thanks, you know, I've run these I've run rakes, you know, a lot over the last forever." Um, and, uh, well, I took it to the field, I drove it down the road and uh, behind a pickup truck and it tracked perfect, perfectly straight, no problems. Well, when they dropped it off, apparently, this is only theory here, they couldn't get that thing to hook up, up front there very easily, so they pulled this pin and they put it in that position right there. Well, I've never used the single rake position I've always used it so that it opens up double. Well, when I bought it, I took it to the field, and as you can see these lines here, it slid open. When I opened that thing up, and I remember doing this, I opened it up, that pin was in that position, that left wing opened way the hell up. I mean, way up, and I thought, there's something wrong. Uh, took me a little bit to figure it out, I opened it, I folded it. When I went to fold it, of course, then it was like twisting and everything, and I had a hell of a time till I figured out that that pin was there. Well, there's warnings all over this thing. Now that I've been informed, it says attention. Here, you can read it yourselves. Only, one side only, store pins in the convenient storage holes. Reinstall both pins when raking with both sides. Failure to heed will cause damage to the rake and void the warranty. Well, H&S themselves came out to look at this rake uh, because the hay isn't going out the back. I've got it widened all the way up and I'm still unable to get the hay to go out the back. What it's doing is it's grabbing, excuse me, it's grabbing this wheel, coming down and wrapping. You can see all those little scratch marks there. That's from the knives, our knives cutting that stuff off of there. Now, it's not so bad on this one. Well, as a result, uh, of that thing wrapping, yeah, that thing is wrapping as a result of the main beam on this rake being bent. You can see it down there if you're pretty slick, you can see it. Just, just see it. Well, it's bent because that pin was not in the right position when I opened it up. And H&S tells me, well, if you'd have read your operator's manual, uh, you wouldn't have this problem. Well, when I bought this hay rake, the operator's manual wasn't in the handy dandy little tool, tube that's on the side of it. It was missing. 
and that is noted in the shipping order when I received it that it was missing and I called the salesman at Lehigh Ag in Allentown Pennsylvania and asked him for a operator's manual which never showed up and it was three weeks before I ever even used the rake last year so whose fault is it is it my fault that that rake is bent or is it John Deere's fault that that rake is bent I have you know I bought a hay rake I'll take some of the blame I guess you know the blame being that I was I didn't go over the machine as well as I should have but I was also told that this thing is ready to go to the field well ready to go to the field means that I can hook to it throw the hydraulics in the in the selective control valves and go rake hay not wonder why in the hell the one wing is flying way out there well the whole problem is that it's wrapping on the back and we can't fold it up we actually have to back it up against a bale of hay or a tree or something to get that thing to fold up to put the bars on the stabilizing bars for transportation down the road because it will just go absolutely bonkers so now what they're doing is they're going to send me one piece that is bent well there's two bent pieces and, he's, and, he, and they're going to have me put them on. Well, I bought a brand new hay rake and I'm really not happy because h &S is not coming out to repair this thing and it's John, I mean, John Deere's the ones, it's, it's their fault. So, I have to fix it myself. They're sending me the parts and I gotta fix it myself. As if I've got time for this horse shit. You tell me who's at fault, me or h &S or John Deere or whoever the hell it is. Um, I feel that, 90% of the blame is uh, John Deere for not help, for not setting it up or even moving that pin. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.